everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Rachel and I go by Rachel Ray you all know that and welcome today is my turn to share some stuff with you uh, and help you pass the time here on Christmas if uh, if you're watching this on the replay you're more than welcome thank you so much for joining me and for for being here with me thank you so much to Pippa for organizing the Christmas premieres and for helping those of us who are bored or lonely during the season to have some creators to hang out with. I really appreciate it. In today's uh, video from me, we I'm going to hang out with you. I'm probably over there in the live chat saying hello to everybody right now. Um, but I would just really like to, to interact with you if you are here live with me. And if you are watching this on the replay, spend some time with you and hopefully take away some of the winter blues. This is going to be in place of my whip and chat as I am not going to be uploading for a few days due to the holiday season, spending time with the people that I care about and, uh, but I am thankful. I'm super thankful and uh, big hugs to everybody. Now you may be wondering why I'm zoomed in so much, which is abnormal, but uh, for me, but um, I'm actually working on my Diamond Art Club mystery painting, the mystery kit that is Christmas themed. And I don't want to ruin the surprise for anyone. So if you are thinking about working on this kit and you don't want to be surprised or you don't or you want to be surprised and you don't want to be <laughs> what's the word oh my gosh anyway if you don't want to be ruined spoiled that's the word I was looking for then uh, please just don't look at the screen um, you know maybe maybe just zoom in on the chat or if you're on a computer you can pop out the chat and uh, and put it in front of the video and then you won't see anything so that's your warning um, Thank you again so much. And just by the way, I don't think that this section is very detailed at all. So uh, it's just going to be, you know, a lot of the same color, but we're going to work together. And today I'm going to take inspiration from um, my friend Cal and I'm going to do a would you rather so that we can we can have some fun over here in the chat. So uh, I found this online mindsandbloom.com. And uh, let's get started. I'd love to hear your answers if you want to share them with me. And if you just want to sit back and craft, that's cool too. Thank you so much for spending time with me. So let's open up the section. All the details of what I'm using on this painting are down below in the description. Uh, so you can have a look, but it's pretty much the same stuff that I've been using for the past like few weeks uh, that I've been, well, few days anyway, that I've been working on this painting. I don't know how long it's been actually. So first question is, would you rather have to loudly sing the chorus of Jingle Bells every time you walk into a room for a week or have to wear a Santa suit to school or work every day for a week? Okay, let's try that again. I'm going to say the question again in case you were talking and not paying attention <laughs> like me. <laughs> would you rather have to loudly sing the chorus of Jingle Bells every time you walk into a room for a week or have to wear a Santa school suit to school every day for a week or to work. You know, a lot of us work. Uh, I would wear the Santa suit. I would wear the Santa suit. I really love dressing up. So <laughs> that would actually be super fun to me. <laughs> I think um, I used to do a lot of like, you know, not dress up, but a lot of cosplay and things like that. And, uh, I, I think it would be fun. You could change it up a little bit, you know, you could, uh, change the color of the suit since there's lots of colors of suits. I don't know if you, if you knew that there's a lot of colors, Santies around the world. If you missed, if you missed, um, the bad Santa episode of the, um, theory Tuesday, uh, definitely check that out. Cause what a hoot. What a hoot. But yes, I think I would rather dress up than sing. I like singing, but singing the same song every time you walk into a room. I have a lot of rooms, you know. I don't know. It would make me want to not move. <laughs> I'd rather just wear the suit. It's all good. All right, next one. Would you rather make presents for your family instead of buying them 
or make ornaments for your tree instead of buying them. Hmm. I think I'd rather make ornaments and I'll say it again. Would you rather make presents for your family instead of buying them or make ornaments for your Christmas tree instead of buying them? At this point in my life, I think I would rather make the ornaments instead of buying them because uh, you don't have to make many ornaments. You don't. They're more sentimental. And also, like, okay, I don't want to be negative or anything, but, but, every time that I, well, not every time, when I make presents for family, they, you know, they might not always like my, the presents I make for them. So, instead of spending a lot of time making presents for someone and not knowing if they're going to like it or not, I'd rather make ornaments for myself that I know I'm going to like. Is that selfish? I don't know. I don't know. But that's where I am right now. Because <laughs> I have made presents. I've made diamond paintings for family members. And, you know, don't get me wrong. Some of them have gone down really, really well. But just the pressure of, like, not knowing if they're going to like it or not. Or to have them possibly be disappointed. That's just too much for me right now. <laughs> All right, next one. Would you rather not celebrate Christmas this year or not celebrate your birthday this year? I think I'd rather not celebrate my birthday. I don't really do much for my birthday anyway. So, you know, that's not really that big a deal. I think that for me, like, we celebrate Christmas in a non-religious way. And truthfully, like, I would rather, like, spend the time with my family here and, you know, be together. And I know that it's kind of like the force us to be together thing, but I don't actually mind it too much. I would rather do that than ha celebrate my birthday because I don't really do anything. What, what about y'all? Would you rather, uh, would you rather skip Christmas or skip your birthday? Let me know. For some of you, I'm sure you would rather skip Christmas, but, and that's cool. That's cool. I just, I haven't been, I think the last time I celebrated my birthday, like on purpose, where I, I asked people to get together with me was when I was 25. Um, yeah. Maybe for the big numbers. The big numbers are nice, but you know, I was like, Ooh, I'm a quarter of a century old. Let me throw a party and invite my friends. And now I'm just like, oh, it's my birthday again? Okay. <laughs> my favorite birthday. What was your favorite birthday? Let me know. Um, my most memorable birthday was when I turned 16. It's a very, I think it's a very American thing. But for my birthday, when I turned 16, I had a big party at my grandparents' house. Because I, I grew up with my grandparents and they let me invite all of my best friends. So I think I had my six girlfriends, um, my boyfriend at the time. And I think the neighbors showed up for a little while too. But see, my, my birthday is February 22nd. <laughs> and in Virginia, February is like the time when snow happens. So... Yeah, it started snowing and we had a snowball fight outside. It was really fun. It was really fun. And I, I think back fondly on it. That day was super stressful for me. Um, but because there were boys fighting for my attention and it was kind of, I don't know, it was really, really taking me off, to be honest. But um, when I look back on it now, I can see, you know, how much fun it was and how you know, carefree we were. We didn't have to really think about all this adulting stuff. So, so yeah, it w I think my favorite birthday was when I was 16. Uh, but I mean, I've had, I've had fantastic birthdays since. Um, we, we were, we decided, James and I decided to take our honeymoon during my birthday week. We went to Morocco and 
the day I woke up, we were staying in this cute little like rooftop terraced apartment, basically. Um, just a, it was just a room that had like a rooftop and it was so nice. We got to see the sunset up there and everything. And that day when we came down to breakfast, <laughs> of course, I, I only just recently got a pet cat, but I've always loved cats. And when we came down into the lobby that morning, there was this beautiful calico kitten and I just got to love all over that kitten. And that was, that was a really nice day. That was a really nice way to uh, spend my birthday. <laughs> It's funny the things we remember, right? I was in Morocco, but I was still like just hanging out with cats. <laughs> okay, anyway, back back to the would you rather's. Instead of going down this this path. <laughs> um would you rather have Frosty the Snowman for a friend or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer for a friend? I think I'd rather have Rudolph as a friend. So would you rather have Frosty as a friend or Rudolph as a friend? I think I'd ha rather have Rudolph. Just because Rudolph, Rudolph won't melt. <laughs> like accidentally melt, you know, <laughs> like we could go, we could go on adventures. I love taking uh, vacations to warm places, you know, warm beaches and stuff. And I wouldn't be able to do that with Frosty. You know? I don't want to put my friend in danger. So yeah, I would I would choose Rudolph to be my friend. I think Rudolph is well-rounded as well. You know? He's gone through some stuff. So you'd probably make a really good friend. Would you rather have mistletoe hanging in your bedroom doorway? Or have a large decorated Christmas tree in your bedroom doorway? That's a weird question. That doesn't make any sense. I'm skipping that one. I'm skipping that. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. Would you rather be home on Christmas and get lots of presents or go to Disneyland for Christmas but don't get any presents? But not get any presents. So would you rather stay home and get lots of pre presents? Or would you rather go to Disneyland or, you know, go to some other destination? I would rather go to a different destination and not get anything. I would rather spend my money on experiences than, you know, presents. Because I have everything I need, you know. Of course, of course, like I... I I asked James to get me Animal Crossing because I want to play with my friends and stuff like that. But, um, you know, if we were if we were to to book a holiday, I would not be asking for anything. I would just want to enjoy my time wherever we go. Though I don't I, honestly, I wouldn't go to Disney. I've been to Disney once. I went to um, Disney World because. We lived closer to Florida than California. I grew up in Virginia. <clears throat> and uh, now I live in Ireland, by the way, if you didn't know that. <laughs> uh, so when I grew up, I we, we went there when I was 9 or 10, I think. And it was fun. It was really fun. And I appreciate that they took me. But it's really a once-in-a-lifetime trip. And if you don't like Disney very much, there's no point, you know, there's lots of queuing and stuff like that. But, you know, for, for those who love Disney, it, it is a good experience. I think they try, they try to make it a good experience, but anyway, okay, moving on. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Here's a, here's a food one. Okay. How long did it take us? 14 minutes. <laughs> Would you rather eat your cereal with eggnog instead of milk or eat a candy cane sandwich? I would, oh, I got to think about this. Would you rather eat your cereal with eggnog instead of milk or eat a candy cane sandwich? Now, some of you are probably lactose intolerant. I'm, I'm... I'm on the verge of being lactose intolerant, I think. I'm definitely sensitive to dairy. 
but I love eggnog. I just don't know. With the right cereal, I think that eggnog would taste really good. Okay, hear me out. You know shredded wheat, frosted shredded wheat, right? I think it would work well with eggnog. If we had eggnog here, like prepackaged eggnog, I would try it out. I would even I would even stop the video and I would try it right now because I think I think it would be nice. Nobody says that you have to drink the eggnog after you finish the cereal, right? So, I'm I'm curious. I'm curious to see what you say. <laughs> and your reason, give me a reason too cuz I really, uh, it doesn't sound appetizing at all at all, but I think it's doable. I definitely think it's doable. I hope you can see me placing the diamonds. Let me just check. Can you see? Well, not really. Hang on. Let me just move you up a little bit. It's It's been, it's a little difficult to get the whole thing in without ruining anything. You know what I mean? I hope that's better. All right. Uh, would you rather, this is this one is harmless and, and easy, I guess. Would you rather live in a giant gingerbread house or ride on the Polar Express? Okay, let's just imagine that we live in a fantasy world where weather isn't a problem, okay? Ah, coffee. Let's pretend, right? Would you rather live in a gingerbread house, giant gingerbread house, or ride on a Polar Express? So if we take the practicality of it out, okay, <laughs> just imagine that it's just as comfy as your, your current home, or ride on the Polar Express. I would choose the train ride. I think that it would be really fun. I, I really like trains. I do. Um, I like trains. I would like to see the North Pole, you know, that kind of thing. The Aurora Borealis and all of that. Speaking of, I should put down some ABs while we're up here. I, I do think I would prefer the train ride just because, right? I think that I would get really ill really fast living in a gingerbread house. <laughs> I, I love gingerbread houses and I love, I love eating the candies on them. And I think that I would just get sick. I don't know if I'd be able to stop myself from eating the house I lived in. And then eventually I wouldn't have a house anymore. <laughs> yeah. So that I'm going to choose Polar Express. What about you? I, I, I love trains. Oh my gosh. I have so many fond memories of, of riding on the train when I lived, I lived in South Korea for four years teaching English. And, um, when, whenever we'd want to go to Seoul, which is the capital, we would ride on the, on the express train. You'd get there in 30 minutes and it was amazing. You know, um, really great technology. It really is. So whenever I would ride on the, on the express train, which I only took, I think I took it maybe once a month or once every two months. And the rest of the time I'd take the slow train, which took two hours, uh, because it was, it was a little expensive. It was like three times the price to take the fast train. So I would try to save my money, um, and just take the slow train, but I would, I remember so fondly riding on the train and like watching the scenery go by. And especially now, like now in, in Ireland, like if I get to, if I get to take a train somewhere, ignore Luna, by the way, she's just having a dream and, and kind of growling a little bit in her dream. Um, I would, I would watch the, you know, the all the scenery go by. It was so nice. It was really, really nice. She must be having a, a bad dream. Are you chasing rabbits? I'm chasing the cat, probably, more likely. <laughs> by the way, she she does not like 
the idea of having a cat and having to share me with a cat. So for those of you who were wondering and probably asking, I probably told you already, but yeah, if you're not, if you're not able to look at the chat, <laughs> it's been, it's been a wild ride. Excuse me with the two of them. All right. Next, would you rather, are you ready? Would you rather be allowed to only eat fruitcake for two days or be allowed to only eat candy canes for two days? So you can only eat fruitcake or candy canes for two days straight for all your meals. Which one would you rather, fruitcake or candy canes? Fruitcake for me. Fruitcake here, but see, it would have to be Irish fruitcake. Okay, <laughs> let's let's clarify. Fruitcake in the U.S. is horrible. I don't even know if it's legal. Like, uh, here it's like, it's softer. It has, well, it also is saturated in booze, right? Um, for two months leading up to, to the holiday. And it's... It's rich, but it's tasty. And I might be alone in this. Like, I might be alone in in feeling that way. But truthfully, like, I would, I would way rather eat fruitcake than candy canes. Candy canes are not a good meal substitute. <laughs> and... You just get sick of the taste, you know. I'm sure you get sick of the taste of no matter what it is after eating it straight for two days, but yeah, no, no, thank you. <laughs> All right, next question. Uh, let's let's move from that one. Oh, here's a good one. Would you rather have a nose that glows red like Rudolph's or have pointy ears like an elf? A nose that glows red like Rudolph's or pointy ears that ha like an elf. I would absolutely go for elf ears. No hesitation. Don't even need to think about it. I love pointy ears. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, please. Make all of those Lord of the Rings <laughs> fantasies come true. I am an elf princess now. I will see you in my kingdom. <laughs> I think it would be cool. I think it would be neat to have elf ears. Would anybody like to have a red nose instead of pointy ears? I'm curious. Because I think I think that that's kind of a, an easy question to answer on my end. But maybe it isn't for some people. Maybe some people are a little bit um, self-conscious or self-aware of their ears. But... Yeah, I don't mind. I would, if they were pointy, I would dress them up with like pretty jewelry. I would cut my hair or style my hair so you would always see my ears. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right. That's a silly question. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna answer. Okay, here we go. Here is a good one. Would you rather be given $100 for Christmas to buy things for yourself or be given a thousand before Christmas to use to buy gifts for other people. I think that's another easy one. And you don't have to answer this if you don't want to. I just, it's better than the one before, which is, would you rather have socks or a dictionary? Like, come on. Nobody wants a dictionary for Christmas. Who wants a dictionary for Christmas? Um, I think, I think I would choose, um, like, I feel like this is obvious for me but I would rather have the thousand dollars to spend on other people. I know a lot of people who would really benefit from having gifts this Christmas. And, um, if I had a thousand dollars to spend on other people, I would in a heartbeat because I have everything I need. I've already got all my art supplies and crafty stuff. You know, I don't, I don't need anything. I would spend it on them. It would make me feel happy because I, I feel like I'm a gift giving kind of person. I enjoy giving gifts to people and finding things for people. Oops, I see I missed some L's. Oops. But um yeah, I I would take the thousand. Please and thank you. <laughs> What's next? Uh Huh? 
Oh, okay. Would you rather, do you know ballet? Do you, do you know the, that every year, like there's a ballet of the Nutcracker? They do it all around, but it's a, it's a very popular ballet and I enjoy it, but I know it's not for everybody, but would you rather go and see the Nutcracker or dance in the neck? Nutcracker. So would you rather go to the ballet and watch it or would you rather dance in it? Um, I would rather watch it. <laughs> I've never, I've never been coordinated. When I was in high school, I was in show choir. I used to have to practice so much because I was just not gifted with, uh, with coordination. I it found it very difficult to remember the the dance s sequences and stuff like that. So, yeah, I would rather dance or I would rather watch than dance. But that's just me. Uh, this one sounds a lot like the one that Cal asked us on Sunday. Oh, and that's the end of that one. Hmm. Let's go ahead and try a different list. They're telling you how to play. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here's a different question. Would you rather relive a past winter holiday again or get to travel to a future winter holiday? If I get to choose, Okay, let me ask again. Would you rather relive a past winter holiday again or get to travel to a future winter holiday? If I was able to choose the past winter holiday, yes, I would travel back in a heartbeat. We, well, I would absolutely have to choose one where my grandfather was still with us. Um, my my grandpa, my, my I call him Gampy. My Gampy was very, very, very festive. And growing up, he would always wear a Santa suit and or at least the hat, you know. And he would hand us the presents from under the tree and watch us open them all. We would all open, you know, each one individually. So you weren't allowed to open when someone else was opening. That sort of thing. And he just, he kept the magic alive long after I, you know, lost the magic of the, my childhood. And so, yeah, I would, if I could choose which one to go back to, then yes. But if I couldn't choose, no, because a few years ago in 2018, we lost my husband's father and uh, he passed away on Christmas Eve. So that Christmas was not easy. And um, ever since then, it's kind of been a little difficult, especially since my grandfather passed this year. So, you know, if I could choose to go back, oh, and my great grandma as well. I was lucky enough to grow up knowing and, and um spending time with my great grandmother and uh, it was always fun. She was so funny and um, so lovely. She really cared. Um, she would crack us up, you know, she's, uh, I miss her. She passed away a long, long time ago. It was um, when I was, was I 17, I think when she passed away. But she was a lovely woman. So, yeah, if I could choose, I would go back and, uh, and have a Christmas where I was a kid again. How about you? You probably already answered. <laughs> Let me have a sip of my coffee. Sorry, no. Hi, you woke up. Hi, baby. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Here's another Rudolph and Frosty one, okay? Would you rather <laughs> ha 
have Rudolph follow you around every day until Christmas or be followed by Frosty the Snowman? Would you rather have Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer or Frosty follow you around every day until Christmas? That's a tough one because, you know, Frosty is really jolly, right? Frosty's jolly. Let's do, I'm just trying to pick a color. I'm trying to pick a color that I don't have to skip down here for, so I'm going to pick this brown. I don't know what's happening on this square. Um, I'm going to say, for this one, I'm going to say Frosty, because Frosty is full of cheer, and he's very jolly, and maybe that would keep me from being cynical and, <laughs> you know, bah humbug about the whole thing. Although that... That might get annoying. I don't know. Could I? Oh, y'all. I don't know if you saw it, but um, did I post pictures of it? So while you're answering, um, James actually dressed up as Frosty <laughs> this year when they did the Christmas light up. Uh, they, they light up the Christmas tree for the kids in the town and he was Frosty and it was so cute. I was laughing because, you know, he's wearing this big old suit. I'll see if I have a picture and I'll throw it on the screen for you. <laughs> oh, dear. I couldn't see his face, so I just kept cracking up because he was dancing. He was dancing all around the place and kids kept coming up to him, uh, but they couldn't. <laughs> he couldn't see them because he couldn't see in the suit. He couldn't see downward. He wasn't able to see the kids. And uh, so I'd have to be like, uh, Frosty, look down. <laughs> and he'd be like, oh, Merry Christmas. It was so cute. Anyway, um, yes, maybe Frosty this time. Because I'd say that Rudolph would probably follow me around because he's hungry. <laughs> All right, what's the next? Give me another question. Oh, that's a tough one. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Would you rather cook the big Christmas meal every year? You can insert your favorite holiday here. Okay. Um, I'm just saying Christmas because they wrote Christmas and it's all Christmas themed and this is a Christmas premiere and all that. But um, feel free to insert your favorite, you know, holiday here. Would you rather cook the big meal every year or have to clean up and do the dishes after the meal every year. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Because I am not a great cook, right? And the one thing that you need to have on a big holiday with a bunch of people is the ability to time things correctly. And that's the one thing I'm really bad at. So I'm going to say I would rather clean up than deal with the headache of the food yeah, no, thank you. I, I will leave that to a professional. That's why I'd say that could be a big reason why I don't, like if I were left to my own devices, I just wouldn't, like I wouldn't make a big Thanksgiving meal. I just, I just wouldn't. I would probably, if I lived in America, I'd probably just get Chinese food because they're open and it's delicious. And there's, you know, virtually no cleanup after. Um, that's my sort of holiday where I don't have to do anything. So if somebody else is doing the cooking, I'll do the cleaning. No problem. You can ask my friends when I go over to their house. I'm always the one that's cleaning. Because <laughs> I'm just hopeless at cooking. I, I think that's going to be a 50-50. I, I think it's going to be a 50-50 divide in the chat. Was I right? <laughs> Future me, was I right? <laughs> oh, we've got a little bit more of this symbol down here as well. Okay. Aww. Oh, this is a good one. Okay, ready? Would you rather be a kid or a grandparent during the holidays? 
Oh, that's really sweet. That's really sweet. I've never been a grandparent, but honestly, I think I'd like, I'd probably like it. I'd like to watch their faces light up as they get their gifts and as they see the tree in the morning and all of that. Like that would just make my heart sing. I think I would like that very much. Though being a kid at Christmas is really fun too. <laughs> it is. It is. I remember all the excitement. I remember getting butterflies. Do you remember that? Getting butterflies in your stomach when you woke up in the morning, when you went to sleep the night before, and you're like, oh, tomorrow is Christmas. And then you'd wake up and you'd be like, today is Christmas. Yeah. That was very fun. That was very fun. These days I wake up and I'm just like, I cannot wait for food. <laughs> Do you blame me though? Do you blame me? I'm sure that a lot of us, a lot of us that have reached this age in our lives are like, oh, a lion, which means sleeping in, a lion and food. That's all I care about. <laughs> um, all right. Hmm. That's a rough one. I don't know if I can, I can say that one right now. Ooh, here we go. What this, this one, would you rather have this is very specific seven hours of Christmas shopping or 10 hours of Christmas movies? I don't know why they've chosen these numbers, but would you rather have seven hours of shopping time or 10 hours of movies. I think I'd rather have 10 hours of movies because I can craft while I watch the movies because you don't really have to watch, right? You can just listen. I haven't watched any yet. I'm kind of disappointed in myself. Um, I just feel like I've been go, 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 you know, and I haven't bothered like I haven't put, bothered putting on movies here in my craft room while I'm working on this painting or anything because I'm I'm busy watching YouTube um which is good it's really good it's good to to have so many good friends that I can watch right and they keep me company and they they lift my spirits and so I'm not complaining at all but um I haven't watched any movies and I really do want to watch the Santa Claus that one is my favorite for the holidays I should definitely bring Netflix over to my mother-in-law's or sign into my Netflix or something because, yeah, we usually just watch what's on TV, but this year I'm just going to be like, no, we're, we're watching a genuine, we're watching Die Hard and then we're going to watch an actual Christmas themed movie. Maybe even we might watch like Terminator or... Uh, one of the Predator movies or an alien or something like that. But I really want to watch like a, a Christmas themed movie. <laughs> uh, by the way, if you didn't know this, James is one of three boys. No sisters. But his, his younger brother is his Irish twin, Rory, who has a restaurant, has a fiance and she will be there for a little bit, but she'll probably be over at her family's house for most of the day. So, you know, during the meal and all that stuff, she's going to go over to her family. I don't know what's going to happen, like who's going to go where or what we're going to do, if we're going to flip flop between houses or what, because it's totally different with me. Obviously, my family is abroad, like nobody's going to do that. But um, it might be different this year. I just I just thought of that. Cause I wasn't here last year when they got engaged. Um, yeah, that's super exciting. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Movies. I'd choose movies. Okay. I got really excited. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Here's a, here's an interesting one. I keep looking at the time cause I don't want to go over. Would you rather invent a holiday on whatever day you want or have a holiday fall on your birthday? Hmm. 
Would you rather invent a holiday on whatever day you want or have a holiday fall on your birthday? I think most of us would invent a holiday on our birthday. But if I could have Halloween on my birthday, like if we could have two of them, I'd totally do that. So <laughs> that would be fun. That would be fun. I love, I love Halloween. What's your favorite holiday? Riddle me that. All right, hang on. Let's, let's build it up here. So we've got some ABs. Let me put down some ABs. ABs, Aurora Borealis, you know, these super sparkly ones have the iridescent coating. This painting, by the way, I know that, I know that some of you are going to be sad, but this painting did sell out and they won't be bringing it back. These mystery paintings are a limited edition. So it was buy it now or, you know, never get it again. And I know that, I know that a lot of people don't like that, but that's just what they chose to do. Um, so I'm sorry if you weren't able to get it. Um, but, but, uh, who knows, you know, who knows what the future holds? Just save your money, <laughs> save your money up. I would suggest maybe getting some gift cards if you need help squirreling the money away, so to speak, get the gift cards cause you can stack gift cards for purchases and, uh, and you can use them later on. You can use it as like your diamond painting fund. I know a lot of people who do that. So next year is going to be pretty epic. Just saying. Okay. Ooh. Would you rather? Eh? Okay. That question doesn't make any sense. Would you rather eat Thanksgiving or Christmas food every day? That's very American. So if you're not American... I don't know. I don't know. But I would choose Christmas food because there's more more candies. <laughs> there's more sweets. And I much prefer ham. We have ham on Christmas. I think I think Rory joked and said, "Can we have beef wellington this year?" and everybody was like, "What? Cannot do that." Have to have to go with the traditional food, right? <laughs> so I'll give you another another few minutes to to answer that. But I think I think I would choose um, you know winter winter Christmas food instead of Thanksgiving fall food. Though there's a lot about Thanksgiving food that's really good. I mean, there's stuffing and but see in America we kind of cross over. I think there's a lot of the same foods that we eat for both. Whereas here, Christmas food is much different. We would have um, turkey and ham usually. And then um, it would be just like a Sunday roast. But then we have loads of cakes and cookies and biscuits <laughs> and brandy and port and all the rest. All right, next question. Would you rather watch Elf or watch It's a Wonderful Life? Would you rather watch Elf or It's a Wonderful Life? Um, I, when I was younger, I would have said It's a Wonderful Life. I really did not like that movie Elf when I was younger, like when I was in my early 20s. I did not like it. But now, also, I was a lot more, um, I was a lot more of a hopeless romantic type. That's really weird to, to think now. But I was, I was, I was much more like a romanticized kind of thought process. I was very much into the whole romance thing. Um... And that idealized relationship type stuff and that, that, whi not whimsical, that's not the right word. You know, just, I would have been like, oh, the feel good, you know, feel good story. But actually now I really much prefer the comedy. 
I would, I would take the comedy. I want the laughs, you know, because I think that though It's a Wonderful Life is a fantastic movie. It really is. It's a lovely movie. Uh, it's just not me. And, uh, and I think that Buddy the Elf has really grown on me <laughs> as I got older. I just like the silliness. I'll take the silliness. Oh, let me get these drills down. Okay. Those ABs are really pretty. Can you see them? I don't know if you can tell. Let's let's move over. We'll we'll do a red. Just so that we're not doing all blue. Okay. Would you Oh, this is a, an interesting uh, comparison. Would you rather make snow angels or go ice skating? Oh, I think this is going to divide us as well. Would you rather make snow angels or go ice skating? Well, uh, let's see. Let's, let's talk about them both, right? So snow angels, you have to get wet. Well, you have to get cold because you're going to go onto the ground and, and, uh, make make a nice pretty angel right but there's no danger of falling <laughs> and these are the things i have to think about now <laughs> that's horrible um i would have said go ice skating in a heartbeat but these days i tend to fall and hurt myself and twist my ankles and all kinds of things now and I know I'd fall. However, however, it is kind of worth it, right? It is kind of worth the risk. Um, so I'm going to say go ice skating. I would rather go ice skating. Snow angels are nice, but I don't like feeling the cold. At least with ice skating, I'm probably not going to get wet or frozen doing it. The, the you know skating part is gonna raise my body temperature and I'll be nice and warm and toasty and I'll try not to fall maybe I'll just stay along the outside of the rink <laughs> and hold on for dear life but yeah now I have to think about falling <laughs> crap all right we answered that on the other one let's see Ooh, what what does that mean have seven levels of. I'm not sure what that means. So I'm going to, I'm going to rephrase this. Would you rather spend a day? Okay. I'm going to phrase it this way. Would you rather spend a day in a candy cane forest or in a sea of swirly, whirly gumdrops? Would you rather spend a day in a candy cane forest or a sea of swirly, whirly gumdrops. Obviously, like on a boat or something. You're not like swimming in it. Um, I think I'd rather go to the candy cane forest because I get I get seasick. Well, I <laughs> I would get seasick if it if it was whirling and swirling. <laughs> I think a candy cane forest would be really pretty. And I'd wonder, like, what kind of creatures would be living in a candy cane forest. But yeah, I'm not a fan of gumdrops. What even is the purpose of a gumdrop? I don't know. This red strip has got me puzzled. I have no clue. Um, I didn't say it before, but please don't ruin the surprise for anybody. If I see somebody write the name of the kid or anything like that, yeah, I'm not going to tolerate that. I want to keep this a mystery for as long as possible because some people haven't gotten their kits yet. Let's not ruin it for other people, right? Uh, where is, is it this one? Yeah. See how I'm going to, I line up the sticker with the canvas and then that way I know exactly which symbol I'm working on. So that's what I do with the triangles, y'all. If you are having issues with 
um, those corner triangles, I just line it up and double check before I start dropping the drills. All right, let's see, where are we? Ooh, we're really close to the end. So let's see. Ooh, <laughs> here's a funny one. Would you rather lose your voice for the holidays or only be able to speak in Christmas carols? <laughs> Uh, I think I'd like the ability to only speak in Christmas carols because wouldn't that be funny? I mean, you could be quiet if you wanted to be, but like, I just think it would be pretty funny walking around saying it's the most wonderful time of the year. Jingle all the way. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Would you rather lose your voice or would you rather speak in Christmas carols? <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good, a good situation where that would be, that would be funny. But anyway, anyway, let me know. Let me know. What do you think? I, I used to be in the Madrigal Choir. So, um, every year we would dress up in, in that, you know, old timey, English style, uh, medieval, well, not quite medieval, uh, more Tudor style. And it was so much fun. It was really fun. I loved, you know, walking around in my big poofy dresses. And I don't think I have a photo uh, on my computers or anything. They're all at home. But if I have one, I'll, I'll try to find one and put it in. No promises. But uh yeah, that was so much fun. And um, it used to get me really, really excited for the holidays, you know? That was my favorite part, really. Aside from spending time with family and all that and presents and, you know, all of those things, um, I loved singing for the holidays. But I don't really sing anymore. I haven't sung in a long, long, long time. Ooh, look, there's a red one and I need a red one. How about that? Yes, perfect color as well. All right, let's see. We've got a few more minutes. You know what? I'm going to leave off the rest of the questions. I think we've answered enough questions for today. So I can just uh, focus on you for a minute. So what is it that you would like to do for the next few days? Are you going to just stay here in the premieres? Or are you going to, or if you're watching this on the replay, are you just kind of, sitting back and crafting. I'd love to know. Um, to be honest, I'm probably going to just be knitting uh, and working on my my little mystery shawl that I've been working on. I don't know if you've, you've been keeping up with it, but I've got this really cute, um, it's not a shawl, it's a, it's going to be a poncho. Um, and I'm using all these colored yarns that I got over the holidays last year in it and it's so cool. I like it because James helped me uh, organize the colors. <laughs> so it does look really, really nice. But that's what I'm gonna be doing um, and probably having copious amounts of, of food and uh, sweets and stuff. But I hope that I get to see you in other premieres. Um, if I'm not there, it's not that I don't want to be there. It's just, you know, uh, busyness. I'm sure that everybody understands. But I just want to send out a huge thank you to Pippa again for getting us together, for organizing everybody. Um, I, I really do enjoy being a part of this and being a part of everybody's holidays cheer um, or just hanging out and, you know, spending some time and and uh, getting to chat with everybody it really is it really is amazing and this community has been so wonderful for me and I know a lot of other people can say the th same thing my life has not been the same since I started spending time with everyone here um, and and it, it makes me feel super grateful to have you all as a part of my life. Thank you so much. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to 
hand it over to the next creator, which I believe is Dave, I believe. Um, hi, Dave. <laughs> and hello, everyone that's in here uh, watching this right now. I just remembered. Yeah, you're all here. <laughs> no pressure or anything. Um, I think that this this part this part of the video is always really difficult for me because I have to say goodbye and it's been it's been wonderful it's been it's been a good time. Sorry I didn't have any chubby bunnies this year but um we're we're under time constraints and anyway, it's been lovely hanging out with you. If you have any questions or anything like that, um please feel free to to ask. Ask away either in the comment section or in the live chat. I don't mind. But I'm going to leave the next few minutes as music. So just in case you need to go and maybe use the restroom or get yourself some water because you've probably been sitting here the whole time just drinking coffee. <laughs> um, please, please go get some water and uh, take a little break. I'm going to spend the rest of the time chit-chatting with you in the, in the live chat. I hope that you all take care and stay safe as always. Thank you for keeping me company as I worked a little bit more on the mystery diamond painting. And I will see you all really soon in probably the next premiere, but also in my next video at some point next week. <laughs> Thanks again and take care. Bye.